Today on the Anchor Chick News Network, I'll be unboxing the Weird Al Squeeze Box set and showing you all the cool stuff that comes with it. Hi, I'm Yanko Chick 38 or Alicia. You may know me as a longtime fan, Wowie Mod, and the previous host of the Wowie Awards. Al is getting ready to go on tour, a pop vinyl figure is being made of him, and he just tweeted from the studio, so I knew it was time to get the series started. Fans are gearing up for concerts, Al is tweeting and creating news, so now more than ever we need a place where we can all come together to anticipate, debate, and speculate. Today I'm unboxing the Squeeze Box Box Set Box Set Box. Did I say box enough times? After much anticipation, buildup, and hype, Squeezebox was finally put up for pre-order early last year. I ordered this back in March, so it's almost the anniversary of it coming out. The box arrived back in December, but I wanted to wait to open it for a special occasion. At the level I got, the box cost in total about $600. Honestly, it's a bit crazy to me that I even got this box because I had a job for only the first half of the year and I had to do things like pay rent and buy food, but the Weird Al fandom wins out. The box set is still listed on Amazon in both CD and vinyl form, but I'm not sure if there's actually any more in stock. Leave me a comment down below if you find any though. So let's get right to it! Oh yeah, this is so exciting. Ah, oh, it comes slightly pre-opened. Back to when I'm, I recreated this dinosaur in seventh grade. <laughs> I don't like, I don't even remember what we used, but I think we used Tic Tacs for the teeth, and my teacher kept it, and I'm sad that I don't have it to show you. <laughs> also in seventh grade, I used to write down the lyrics to some of these songs as my journal entries in English class. Does that count it, I guess? My other favorites. Ah, oh, this was my first one I heard when I was like six years old on a road trip to grandma's house. Yes, this is the first album that I think about for myself, maybe. But this was the first one that I got when after I got into Al again at 13-ish. 
It was the first one that was like came out around that time in middle school for me. The perfect time. <laughs> Checklist with 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 Skipper Dan, my favorite, my favorite song, Skipper Dan. I love Skipper Dan forever. Skipper Dan, Skipper Dan, my favorite radar song, probably, maybe, I don't know. I haven't decided. Shut up. Oh, what is this? What is this? I don't remember. <gasps> Face. Look at his face. Do you like his face? I like his face. But more importantly, I like those pants. I've always wanted those pants ever since. Apocalypse? When it was in the picture on the CD for that? It was not on the CD. It was in the case thing. The foldy. It was like a foldy. You know, you know, you have it. But those pants. When he's, when he's like that with the, with the hair. Yeah. Okay. So that's the actual, that was actually supposed to be turned, I think. Medium rarities. He's in the plastic wrap. That's a cool effect. I wonder how they did that. Oh, that's what it looks like in the back. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, the polka dots. I love it. Oh my gosh. What's on here? I'll read the track list for this one because it's, it's new. Okay, so we have Take Me Down from 1978, which is the slow grown song for cow, cow, cow. I don't want to say anything because I'm probably wrong. So it's the, it's Take Me Down. You guys know Take Me Down. Uh, My Bologna, capital single version, 1979. You know, Yoda demo, the demo version of Yoda, 1981. Dr. Demento jingle from 1981 also. Pac-Man, parody of Taxman by the Beatles. I think that's what it's called. I think that's who it's by. 1981. Dare to be stupid instrumental. Oh, that's so cool. 1985. Ah, I'm super hyped about that. Okay, Jurassic Park from 1993. That's when he's saying Jurassic Park Japanese. Um, headline news from 1994. Does that count? I guess that counts. Um, since you've been going karaoke, 1996. What? Ah. The Night Santa Went Crazy, extra gory version. It's got like a line or two, but it's different. The Night Santa Went Crazy, extra gory version, 1994. Aw, that's the year I was born. Thank you. There's just like an extra line or two that's like slightly different, <laughs> slightly more gory, but. Spy Hard, 1996. Spy Hard, he did the theme song for the movie Spy Hard with, uh, what's that guy's name? Leslie Nielsen. Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. He was an airplane and all, all those good movies from them. Uh, Lousy Haircut, 1997. That's from the Weird Al show. When it was a, when he watched the, the channel hopping <laughs> and it was like the parody of something. I don't know what the parody of. It wasn't, the song itself was from parody, but the video was like kind of style parody, I think. <sighs> I should like, have more information in my brain about this, I feel like. Homer and Marge, 2003, when he was on The Simpsons for the first time. It was a parody of uh, Jack and Diane, I think that song is called. This is a story of Jack and Diane. I don't know. Two kids from the Palace of Birmingham. No, that's, <laughs> that's, that's something else. The Brain Song. I wanted this song for so freaking long. Oh my gosh. 2009, the brain song. Owl Fest. Well, not just Owl Fest, but it was like the Owl's Brain ex experience at the Orange County Fair at the time. It was so cool. It's my favorite thing. We saw it like several different times. Just, we stood in line just to see the film so many times. And Amara actually recorded this song on her like really old cell phone that's like not even thinkable anymore. So it was like not great quality, but we still kind of had something. And they never released it until now. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I love this song. 
Your brain is divided into two hemispheres. The left controls the right side and the right controls the rest side, and they're both tied together in a neat little package called the totally awesome Corpus Callosum. I like. I know a lot of the words to it, but I am super happy to hear it again. Ah, uh, I haven't heard it in so long, but I. It stuck with me. It stuck with me. <laughs> Thirty Rock theme song parody. It was on an episode of Thirty Rock. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. It's so good, but like basically he like ends up parodying one of the characters and like there's a, there's a whole thing. There's a whole thing with it. Just go watch it. But then he's the like theme song. <sighs> You've probably seen it in concerts if you've gone, but that's great. Super Duper Party Pony 2014. I was on an episode of My Little Pony. That's all I have to say about that. Sir Isaac Newton versus Bill Nye, 2014. This was epic rap battles of history. <laughs> and and he was Sir Isaac Newton. And it is like, of all the scientific minds in history, they put Baker in a bow tie up against me. I'm a master. I discover gravity. I drop rhymes while they're falling from an apple tree. You know, that old song. But that's cool to have on there too. That's, huh, ah, that's nice. Okay. Let the pun fit the crime 2015. What is that show called? It's got Kenneth from 30 Rock voicing the main character. <laughs> but I don't. Wander over yonder. That's what it's called. He was like a scary banana villain. <laughs> like he was like a banana clown guy. And he's saying this excellent song, but the pun fit the crime. It's, 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 it's so good. Um, Hey Hey We're the Monks 2015. Uh, what is that show called? What is that show called? It's a medieval parody, well, parody, but a show that was on recently. Uh, Gallivant? Was that what it's called? Gallivant? I never watched it. Uh, but I saw the clip in concert. <sighs> comedy bang bang, comedy bang bang, comedy bang bang, comedy bang bang, bang theme 2016. Yes. Ugh. Honestly, they should release like all the songs that he did on Comedy Bang Bang because they're pretty good. Uh, they're pretty good. Ah, Gillian, thanks a million for being on our show. If you didn't watch Comedy Bang Bang when I was band leader, at least, I, I, I don't even know what to say to you. It's my world and we're all living in it, 2016. That's from Murphy, is that, is that show called Murphy's Law? No, it's called Milo Murphy's Law. Milo Murphy's Law? It's Milo Murphy. It's Milo Murphy's theme song. It's my world and we're all living in it. It's the Disney XD channel show about like the descendant of Murphy from Murphy's Law where if anything can go wrong it will go wrong. Uh, it's good, it's good. Feet on the Brat 2017. That's, that's new. <laughs> that's a cover from an old song for a Dr. Demento compilation album I think. Happy birthday new version 2017. That's from How to Be a Latin Lover. And that was like speculated about what song he was gonna do for a movie. People just knew he was gonna do a song for a movie and it turned out to be Happy Birthday. And it's cool that there's a new version of it because if you've heard the original version of Happy Birthday, the sound quality is not that great, but maybe they remastered it. Actually, I think all these albums are remastered here, but it's still cool to have the new one. Ah, great. Excellent. Oh, okay. Here we go. That's it for the albums, but here we go. And the side here, there's the book. Ugh. This this accordion's kind of heavy. I mean, if this is heavy, I can't imagine like. <laughs> but the real ones. Actually, I've held a real accordion before. Not to brag, but they're pretty heavy. <sighs> look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so cute. Look at that. I love the polka dots. Ah, uh, I love the polka dots. I love the polka dots. Thank you for the polka dots thing, everybody. <gasps> what? Uh, look at that. It's almost like a magic eye puzzle or something. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what is happening? Whoa! <laughs> what? Oh, there's all these cool pictures in here. 
I'm going, you don't need to see my face, you need to see this. <sighs> oh, they saved the best pictures for last. They saved the best pictures for last. I just gave myself a paper cut on my chin with this book, but that's okay. Look at these pictures. Ah, <sighs> yes. On the additional photography credits page, we got, of course, John Schwartz, Al Yankovic, Suzanne Yankovic, Tony Papa, Tony Papa, Barry Hansen, Dr. Demento. But anyway, over here we have, what's this? Fred Older, what? Jackie Rossi, what? Wait, wait, Jim West, what? Jim West, Jim West. Steve J, Ruben, Ruben. Christine Slipson, Adrian Vasquez, Amanda Deer. <sighs> you got you got all the big fans in here. It's amazing. Now that we're done with the box, let's move on to the bag. Wow, yes, we got a whole nother bag of stuff to go through, folks. Stick around, you might see something interesting. Let's open her up. Gosh, this is even more exciting. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, it's one of those things. I've seen those before. Oh, that's so cool. It's like that's my that's my team. It's the weird out team. The best team. Oh frick yeah. Oh, if you know me, you know I love socks. These socks are the coolest. Oh my gosh. Oh. Looks like I got the classic L pair here. Ah, uh, Greatest Knicks, Volume 1 and 2. They're both the same. Maybe there's another pair of socks in there. I hope so. I love socks. And these are Weird Al socks with polka dots on them. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like they read my mind. Oh, oh, oh yes. Um, I'm going to wear this shirt after I wash it and it shrinks down just a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, what a cute minimalist way to have a t-shirt, wear it t-shirt that you can just wear and look fashionable, but also like geeky. And express your love of Elle. That's amazing! I love it! What's next? I just wanted to show this off really quick because I just noticed it. It says Yankovic on the side there. Can you see that? It's pretty cool. And like, Elle has a few different accordions, but this is the one with the flying V on it, as it were. Which is like one of his first ones. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that they have that one there. It's like the classic accordion look. <sighs> But anyway, let's continue with what's in here. Oh, he's doing like, oh, he's doing like all different kinds of silly moves all around there in that classic suit of his. <laughs> so classic, it's like, almost seven years old probably. Oh, and that's what it looks like on the back. Oh, and it's got the hole in the middle. Uh, they should have put it in his nostril. They missed an opportunity there. Uh, uh, these are these are the fridge magnets. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, I don't know why they had to ruin it by putting the tattoos on on there, but that's okay, I guess. You got all these there. That's pretty cool. This is pretty cool, guys. You can put dress them up however you want them. However you want them to be dressed up, or you could just leave them like this if you want. Which some people might might want. <laughs> Not naming any names. Okay, how do you open this? Oh. Ah. So swift. What's in here? What's in here? Tell me what's in here. Is it another record? <gasps> Wait. What is this? It's another record. Why is there another record? It's blank. <laughs> what is this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it 
It's a test pressing and it's got a signature on them. Look at that, it's a dare to be stupid. It's a test pressing. I'm not entirely sure what a test pressing is, but it came with it. So I was like, okay, dare to be stupid. And then it's got a signature on it. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Where did I put it? I can't put it back in this cardboard box. Can I put it in here with medium rarities? Let's put it back in here. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching the first video of the, my new series, the Yanko Chick News Network. I will be releasing new videos every Friday with occasional live videos when important things are happening in the world of Weird Al Yankovic. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with anyone who loves Weird Al. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you're notified when anything new and exciting happens in the world of Al. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to help keep this channel going and receive bonus perks such as having your name in the credits of my videos and even mini documentaries on fans. Eventually, when I get the money, when I get the money. I'm on Facebook, so if you haven't already, make sure to like the Yanko Chick News Network on Facebook. Comment below and tell me what you would like to see in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.